So, what we have here, guys, is a uh, factorized uh, 5x cubed minus 10x squared. What's the difference between a factorized question and a solved question? At the very end of a solved question, you'll always have x equals something. At the end of a factorized question, that doesn't happen. What can you take out of the two of them? Can you take out 5x squared. Now, some of you guys aren't doing this. You're not checking to see if it multiplies back out. What's 5x squared with 5 by x, Fionn? 5x squared with 5 by x? Yes, it is. That's what you're looking for, right? What's 5x squared multiplied by minus 2? Minus 10x squared. You're correct. You know you're correct. You can move on. You should know you're right before you leave. Next one. 4x squared minus 81y squared. Now, there's a minus here. Uh, it's more than likely. What, what's this called, guys? There's two squares. What goes in here? 2x. Because 2x multiplied by 2x gives you 4x squared. What goes in here? 9y. Then once you do that, what's next? 2x plus 9y, 2x minus 9y. Now, once again, well, I'd like you guys to become aware of this. If you, have a, if you have a couple of minutes at the end of your exam, just have a quick look. 2x by 2x squared. 2x by minus 9y minus 18xy. What's, what's 2x multiply by minus 9y? Minus 18xy. 9y multiply by 2x. Anybody? 9 plus 18xy. And finally, 9 plus 9y multiplied by minus 9y. Y squared. What happens to the middle? And what are we left with? 4x squared minus 81y squared. Is that what we started off with? So that means our answer down here was correct. So you can always multiply it back out to see if it works or not. So that's as far as you have to go. What I did extra was just checking to see if the answer was right. <coughs> okay. So if you have like 10, 10 minutes at the end of your exam to use, just do it like that. It works every time. Now, what about the next one here? Part 3. Uh, a squared minus AB plus 3A minus 3B. What do we get here? What can we take out? We take out a and we get a into a minus b. Check it. a multiplied by a. a multiplied by minus b. Minus a b. Next one. Take three out and what's left? A minus b. Three by a. Three a. Three by minus b. Minus three b. What's the next step after that? A plus three into a minus b. There you go. If you really want, you can multiply that back out again. It should turn into the original. Okay. Okay. Uh, after that, guys, we now have solved questions. Okay. So the solved questions, lads, are uh, solve each of the following: x squared minus five x minus six equals zero. It's a solve. What, do you, what can you tell me about solved questions? How is, how is it going to end? It's going to end like this, no matter what. Higgins, what's the reference number? Minus 6. Two numbers that multiply to give you minus 6. Minus 6 and? Plus 1. Are you allowed to use 3 and 2? Two minuses, so if I did two minuses, I'd get, I'd get a. Uh, two minuses would get me minus five, wouldn't it? But when you multiply them together, I'd get plus six, not minus six. Remember, a minus reference number has one of them that's minus and the other one that's plus. A minus reference number always. Are you listening? You might need to know this. A minus reference number always has one of them that's negative and the other one that's positive. Has to happen that way. No matter what. So we agree that this one meets it. This one does everything. One positive, one negative. Okay. X squared. Uh, I can do it the long way if you want. Now, you, 
because it's a short question, you could have went in directly like this. That's okay. Some of you uh, automatically do it the long way anyway, which is perfect. Some of you would have done it like this. And then what you did after that was you factorized it and you said x into x minus 6. And then you said plus 1 into x minus 6. And then you changed it into that there. Does that make sense? You do the short way or the long way. Uh, Josh. Uh, I, did, I got the same answer for the angle part of it. Now, lads, what happens is uh, we have x minus 6 equals 0 x plus 1 equals 0, bring it over to your side, x equals minus 1 and x equals 6. How many people got 10 out of 10 on that? Okay. Now, 8x squared minus 14x plus 3. Higgins, give me the reference number. Reference number of 24. 3 multiplied by 8 gives me 24. Uh, two numbers that will multiply to give me 24. Good man, you made a list. Now, Higgins made a list, which is a smart thing to do. Now we've got to figure out what we need to do. Uh, can one of them be positive and one of them be negative for this reference number? Why not? Exactly, so it either has to be two positives or two. Is it going to be two positive or two negatives, lads? Why is it two negatives? Minus 40 in the middle, so it can be this. So, what's our choice? Which one are we actually choosing? We have a choice between this one, we have a choice between this one here, and finally, we have a choice of this one here red, green, or blue? Red. Okay, so we're going to go ax squared, then we're going to break it up. It doesn't matter which way you put it, it can be 12 in front or 2 behind, or the other way around. Okay, then we have plus 3 equals 0. Next step, Sean. Factorize two x into uh, are you correct? You should know. Yeah. How do you know you're correct? When you multiply it back out, it works. Uh, Fio, next part. Um, what do you know about the second bracket? It's, it's the same it has to be the same as the first one. What number will multiply 4x to give you minus 12x? Uh, minus 3. What's the next step after that? Uh, 2x minus 3. Yeah. 4x minus 3. Okay. Then? Uh, 2x minus 3 equals 0. 4x minus 1 equals 0. After that? Uh, 2x equals 3. Yeah. And then finish it? And the other one? Four equals one. Yeah. And x equals four equals four one over four. One over four. Who got a uh, ten out of ten for that one? Okay, I'm expecting once again most of you is uh, those those questions are your bread and butter, okay? You gotta be able to do them. Okay, next one we had was a fraction question. The fraction question was uh, two x plus five over three. We had to solve it. Minus 4x minus 1 over 2 equals minus 1 over 2. I'm pretty sure nobody got this fully right. Now, common denominator, lads. What's the common denominator between 3 and 2? 6. six. How would you tur turn 2 into 3? Uh, tur two, sorry, how would you turn 3 into 6? Multiply by 2, top and bottom. How would you do this one? Top and bottom. And then finally, the other side. Top and bottom. Now here's your mistake. 2 times 2x? Two, 2 times 5? 10. 3 times 4x? Minus 3 times 4x? Minus? Minus 3 times minus 1? Plus 3. 3 times minus 1? Minus 3. It's all over. What are you over? 6s. Cross out the sixes. Four x minus twelve x minus eight x ten plus three. Thirteen equals minus three. Bring that thirteen over to your side. Minus three minus thirteen. 
when I say x equals minus 16, and then x equals minus 16 divided by minus 8, 2. Yeah, now we got x equals 2. 3x squared minus 7, 5x minus 2. Multiply 3x squared by 5x is 15x cubed. Uh, this is uh, a couple of pages on. It's past the uh, do you know the Doyle family question yeah. where the sum of times equation. It's next page on. 15x cubed, 3x squared multiplied by minus 2, minus 6x squared, 7x times 5, 35x minus 7 by minus 2, plus 14. Easy? Yeah. Most you should get that out. Okay. After that, we have division. we got to divide this here. To be fair, the division question was strong. And the division is actually a hard question, and yet most of you were able to answer it pretty damn good. So it just shows you, if you actually studied the chapter, you're actually, you're actually much stronger than a lot of your results suggest. Okay? So 2x minus 5. Uh, Josh, lead the way here. What do I divide by what first? Um, 2x by the 4x. 4x cubed divided by 2x, anybody? Anybody know? 2x squared. Then what do you do after that? Um, uh, you multiply the 2x squared by the 2x minus 5. Remember the two red lines? Oh, yeah, yeah. And you get 4x cubed minus um, 10x squared. Then you take them away, right? Change the sign. And what do we have now? Minus 4x squared plus 10x squared? 6x squared, what do we do next? Minus 7x, and you repeat the procedure. What's the first thing in line now? Oh, I rubbed that out. Sorry? Divide your, your 6x squared by 2x, and what you get? 3x, yeah, you took them away, you're dividing. 2x multiply by 3x gets you 6x squared, and then you multiply. So I'm going to multiply it out. 3x by 2x squared, 3x by minus 5. What you do next? Change signs and after that? And you get 8x minus 20. Now find the last one. You're dividing 2x into 8x divided by 2x. What's 8x divided by 2x? 4. Four. Four. four times uh, 2x and minus 5? Uh, yeah. Five. Five. Then change sign and you get Zero. 0. There you go. How many people got that one out? 100% there. Okay. What we're going to do next, guys, is. Uh, we have a function, this question 15, or it's it's probably it's the uh, last question okay and what we have is a, a function uh, g dot dot x goes to x squared minus 3 now what that means is g of x equals x squared minus 3 can anybody in class tell me what is a function what does a function do all right come on somebody tell me right. uh, lads functions are specific rules if I ask you guys, multiply a number and add on 3, do you know how I would write that? Multiply a number by 2, add on 3. How would, I, how would I write that down as a function? There you go. It's a rule for all the numbers you're using. If I ask you another rule, uh, I want you to square the number and then take away 5. There you go. And you do that for every number that you're, you're using. That function for correct now what this what this uh what this one asks you to do is this now it's really easy it goes the rule is square the number and take away three do you see that yeah. square the number take away three minus two minus two squared minus three then what do we get 
Four minus three, which is one. Happy enough with that? Four minus three equals one. Now, handy out. Now, things really hit the fan when this kit turned up. Anybody in class make a suggestion what I could do with that? What's the rule? Whatever it is, square it and take away three. Isn't that the, that's the rule we said, isn't it? X squared minus three means whatever it is, square it, take away three. What is it? It's two T minus one. See the way the two T minus one comes beside the G? This is the question. It says express this in terms of T. Whatever comes beside the G in the brackets, that's what you that's what you put in the brackets here. It used to be X, now it's a new number. The new number is 2t minus 1. To do this, you'll do 2t minus 1, 2t minus 1, minus 3. We're going to square this out. 4t uh, uh, squared, where do you get 4t squared from? 2t by 2t. After that, minus 2t. After that, minus another 2t. After that, plus 1, minus 3. What are we left with then? 4t squared behind that. There you go. And after that, there you go. Okay. Now, question C says solve. It's a solve question. And it says g of 2t minus 1 equals g of minus 2. It says find the values. What does that mean at the very end? It means you're going to have t equals something, t equals something. Okay? First of all, what is g of minus 2? We already found it. What's g of minus 2? g of minus 2 is what? Which is? 1. So, g of minus 2 is represented by the number 1. What is g of 2t minus 1? G of 2t minus 1. This thing here is the same as that there. So you have 4t squared minus 4t minus 2. What type of equation do we have now? Bring it over to your side. 4t squared, yeah, minus 4t. And then after that, minus 3. Reference number, uh, James, what's the reference number? Huh? What's the reference number? I'm asking you just this part here. We did two reference number questions already. Minus 12. Good man. Two factors that will make up minus 4 in the middle, but they multiply to give you minus 12. 3 and minus 4, uh, while they multiply to give you minus 12, they won't add to give you minus 4. Uh, try the other way around. Minus 6 and 2. Huh? Why did you do the other way around? Oh, sorry. Why didn't I do uh, 6 minus 2? The reason I didn't do 6 minus 2 is 6 minus 2 gives you plus 4t, not minus 4t. So that's the problem, okay? And minus six plus two gives you minus four t, which is what you're looking for. And what happens there, James, is that when you break up the four t, see the minus four t here? It's gonna break up into minus six t plus two t. If you used if you use three t minus four t, that's minus one t, and it's not the same as four t. Okay, so it's not the same. Then what you get here is a uh, 4t squared, and then that's a minus 3. Uh, Josh, what can you factorize out of the first two? Um, These two here. Oh, and t. And what else? Two. Two. And what's in the bracket? Um, two. Two t. Yeah. Minus 3. Yeah. And then... Um, has to be the same bracket again. Yeah. 
Yeah. What number goes in here? Uh, two. Two? Yeah. All right. Two times two T? Yeah, four T. I want two T though, so it's not two. Go again. One. One. One multiplied by two T? Two T. One multiplied by minus three? Minus three. Yeah. You just have to be aware of that. You just have to double check that when you're doing it, guys. Now, to finish it off, Anybody? 2t minus 3 uh, and then 2t plus 1. Yeah, or the opposite way around, whichever yeah. one suits your, suits your cost. Now finally, finishing this off, 2t plus 1 equals 0, 2t equals minus 1, t equals minus 1 over 2. 2t equals, uh, 2t minus 3 equals 0, 2t equals 3, t equals... 3 over 2. Okay. What I want you to do here is we're going to solve this like we would normally. We're going to concentrate on what we can do. Reference number 12. Two numbers minus 3 and minus 4. 2x squared minus 3x minus 4x plus 6. Factorize. What do we take out? X, X into. 2x minus 3 after that. Butter bracket has to be 2x minus 3. What multiplies 2x to give you minus 4x? Minus 2. What's the bracket then? Okay. Equal 0 after that. x minus 2. X equals two and three over two. Now, guys, have something for you, okay? If I said, uh, just try and reduce this down. Now, do you see that equation I started off with? See the two x squared plus seven x plus six. Do you see everybody see that? Okay. Now, these are the answers for any question. I can think of any letter I want. Pick another letter for me. Another letter. Q. 2Q squared minus 7Q plus 6 equals 0. Anybody know how to do that question? It's exactly the same thing, isn't it? So the answer automatically is Q equals 2 and Q equals 3 over 2. Okay. What happens if I go one further and I just say, all right, uh, I'm not even going to write down a letter. It's just, if I put in any letter in here and here, and it's the same letter, it can be A, it can be B, it can be M, it's going to do exactly the same thing, isn't it? Would you agree with that? Now, tell me what you see about the next equation. What's so similar? Anybody see the similarity? Instead of x, we have, okay, so the answer for 2t minus 1, because it's the same equation, the answer for 2t minus 1, which is now in the brackets, has to be the same answer as the question that came before it. Does that make sense? Because it works for a, b, c, and q, why doesn't it work for 2t minus 1? It should, right? So what, what do we get as the answer now? 2t equals 3t equals 3 over 2. Uh, 2t equals uh, 1 plus 3 over 2. It's 5 over 2. Divide by another 2. 5 over 4. Okay. 